Hi everyone, I'm Samantha. I just started my week with a bad meeting. I can't believe how bad it was. Maybe because I have some expectation because this guy who reached out to me is an exco member of a speaking community. So I would assume that you will have some level of communication skills. And obviously I was wrong. I sh shouldn't have assumed and I shouldn't have any expectation. So the fault is on my side. But every time when I come out of meetings like that, I can't help but feel so annoyed sometimes. And sometimes I also find that it's quite a pity because if you have really poor communication skills, you are not able to effectively relay your message over to the other party. So so your so so you don't meet your objective and you and you basically just ruin the whole conversation. If this guy reached out to me again, I would never really want to speak to him again. You know, it's really a waste of my time, right? So a few things to take note when we are really reaching out to people for the first time. Let's say a cold conversation and in a more formal setting. Number one, please do your homework. All right, have some background check. Like what does this person do? Uh, what is the... What is the synergy? Where is the potential synergy? Do some homework first, all right? And if you are not able to find enough information, then that is the purpose of the conversation. The purpose of the conversation is for you to ask questions so that you get to know each other better, right? So ask, so prepare questions. If you cannot find enough information, prepare questions. Now, number two, please be a very good listener. Not just listening to the verbal words, but be very attentive to the non-verbal cues. That is number two. Number three, if this is a business asking, please state what is the need for the other person to be on board. All right, if this is a really this is something that has a has an agenda, right? What is the need for the other person? Don't just come into the conversation expecting people to do it like what for free or at a low cost. Will you ever do your job for free? Will you do your profession for free? So if you weren't, don't expect someone else to do that. That is pretty low, don't you think so? Yeah. Anyway, that's that. Good luck, everyone.